a few years back, my wife was watching a show called The Bear. And when I'd walk through the house, I would, I found myself, like when I go in for lunch or whatever, I find myself sitting and watching and really enjoying it. And, and one day as I'm walking out of the house to come back to work, I told her, I said, I, I wouldn't mind watching that. That looks pretty interesting. And she said, I'll watch it again with you. And that's a good litmus test because if she'll finish anything or most anything, I should say, even if it's bad. And there's, there's, a, there's a psychology behind that. We could discuss that at some point. Although in more recent years, we do have a superpower we call time of death. <laughs> and so we're watching a really crappy movie and we're about 35 minutes in. It's like time of death, 35 minutes, 40 seconds. And then it's like a superpower. We've, we've started it and just quit a bunch of crappy movies from that. But anyway, long story endless, I did watch it with it. Uh, John says the Bears a good show. Yeah, it's really good. It's intense though. I've forgotten how intense it is. We're, we're rewatching it because the third season's coming out and we wanted to kind of catch up because it's been a few years. These things come out and then it takes years to come out again. I don't know if COVID had something to do with it or whatever. But anyway, Long story endless, I know, too late, right? <laughs> the Bear is about a restaurant, and without giving anything away at all, they, they set all this up, like, right before they start the first episode or right as the episode starting. This is, uh, the, his name is Carmi, a character in the show. He's the main character. His brother committed suicide and left him the restaurant. The restaurant, pardon my French, is a bit of a shithole, and he's trying to save it. Now, he was a Michelin star that's a fiction, of course, but he was a Michelin star chef and he's left his Michelin star, wor star world, sounds like Star Wars, to come down and run this little crappy restaurant to try to save it for himself, his family, and for his brother, his deceased brother, and so on and so forth. So the character that plays Sydney, she's like the young aspiring chef and she really wants a Michelin star. And he's like, be careful what you wish for because it's really, really tough. And he said something that that really struck a chord with me. Of course, everything comes back to trading with me, right? And she's like, well, what do I have to do? And he said, you have to care about anything like it's everything. And I think that is a really good million little things. That just kind of landed in my lap last night. So number 254,223, care about anything like it's everything trading is a shit ton of little details and little things that you must do to be successful it's pretty easy on paper okay but you'll soon find out if you're new to trading the map is not the territory and you know what over time you're going to find out that the map is not the territory and there's 50,000 little things that can muck up your trade now not to beat up this poor gentleman from earlier but He's going to do that once. He's one and done, so it's not like I'm making fun of him anymore, right? He'll never do that again. But ask yourself, do you have the right symbol, okay? Write it down. Tell your wife the symbol and tell her to remind you tomorrow or whatever. You know, do something like that if you're brave enough, right? Did I place all my orders or at least some alerts where I need to take action? Do I have orders or at least alerts at these action levels? And what about the 99,997 other things <laughs> that we're, we've talked about a few of those so far, but if you want to be a successful trader, care about anything like it's everything.